In the bustling town of Greenwood, where laughter filled the air, a curious young boy named Leo stumbled upon an old, dusty map in his grandmother's attic. The map, with its peculiar symbols and faded trails, whispered secrets of an unknown underground city. "'What's this, Grandma?' Leo asked, eyes wide with wonder. His grandmother, Mrs. Penelope, a retired explorer, peered over her glasses. Her interest piqued. "'Ah, that's no ordinary map, Leo. It leads to a place filled with wonders beyond your wildest dreams,' she exclaimed, her voice crackling with excitement. The map was unlike any Leo had seen. It was drawn on parchment that felt as old as time, with roots that seemed to twist and turn in impossible ways. In the center, a symbol of a sunken city glimmered faintly, as if calling out to him. With a mischievous grin, Leo declared, I'm going to find this city. Mrs. Penelope chuckled. You'll need more than bravery, my boy. That city is shrouded in mystery and humor, and only the cleverest can uncover its secrets. As night fell, Leo tucked the map under his pillow, dreaming of secret passages and hidden treasures. Little did he know, his adventure was about to begin in the most unexpected way. The next morning, Leo's excitement was palpable. He darted around the house gathering supplies, a flashlight, a notebook, a compass, and his trusty stuffed bear, Sir Cuddleton. Every explorer needs a brave companion, he declared to the bear. Mrs. Penelope watched Leo with amusement. She handed him a magnifying glass. For the tiny clues, she winked. Leo's eyes sparkled with gratitude. He felt like a real explorer, ready to uncover the mysteries of the underground city. In his backyard, Leo set up a makeshift explorer's camp. He spread out the map on a wooden table and began plotting his course. First to the old willow tree, then past the brook and straight into the heart of adventure, he exclaimed. Leo's friends, Mia and Toby, joined him, their curiosity kindled by the tale of the secret city. They planned their roles, Leo as the fearless leader, Mia as the cunning navigator, and Toby as the keen-eyed lookout. As the trio prepared, Leo's dog, Whiskers, barked excitedly, wanting to be part of the adventure. All right, Whiskers, you can be our brave guard dog, Leo laughed. And with that, the group of young explorers set off, their hearts brimming with anticipation. The adventurers trekked through the lush forest, following the map's mysterious symbols. Birds chirped melodies above as if cheering them on. Leo led the way, with Mia pointing out hidden markers and Toby keeping a watchful eye on the surroundings. They reached the old willow tree, its branches swaying gently. Leo inspected a hollow in the trunk, finding a riddle inscribed inside. To find the path that goes below, seek the stone that does not glow, he read aloud, puzzled. Mia's eyes lit up. It must mean a stone that's in the shade. She scanned the area and pointed to a large, unlit rock near the brook. They pushed against it, revealing a hidden stairway descending into darkness. With a mix of fear and excitement, they descended the stairs, their flashlights piercing the darkness. The underground passage was lined with colorful murals depicting a bustling city, bringing the map to life. As they journeyed deeper, the sound of distant laughter echoed through the tunnels. It wasn't spooky, but rather inviting, as if the underground city was welcoming them with open arms. The passage led them to an immense cavern, where an astonishing sight awaited. A sprawling underground city, illuminated by glowing crystals, stretched before them. Buildings carved into the rock walls sparkled under the crystal light. The city was bustling with activity. Curious inhabitants, a mix of humans and friendly creatures, roamed the streets. Market stalls overflowed with bizarre and colorful goods, and the air was filled with the delicious aromas of unfamiliar foods. An elderly man with twinkling eyes approached them, Welcome, surface dwellers, to Luminaterra, he greeted. I am Mayor Cobblepot. What brings you young explorers to our hidden abode? He inquired with a warm smile. Leo shared their adventure, showing Mayor Cobblepot the map. The mayor chuckled. Ah, that map was part of our city's legend, leading the worthy to our hidden world. You've passed the test of wit and courage. The children were given a grand tour. They marveled at the underground parks, libraries with ancient books, and a theater where a humorous play was performed. The city was a treasure trove of wonders, each corner revealing a new delight. As the day neared its end, Leo and his friends realized it was time to return to the surface. Mayor Cobblepot handed them each a small glowing crystal as a keepsake. 
to remember your incredible journey and the city beneath the ground, he said kindly. The children thanked the mayor and the friendly inhabitants of Luminaterra. As they ascended the hidden stairway, they promised to keep the city secret, ensuring its magic remained undisturbed. Emerging back into the forest, the world above seemed even more vibrant than before. The adventure had given them a new perspective on the wonders that lay hidden around them, waiting to be discovered. Back at Leo's house, they recounted their adventure to Mrs. Penelope, who listened with pride and joy. You've had quite the adventure, explorers. Remember, there are always new mysteries to uncover, she said, her eyes twinkling. That night, Leo, Mia, and Toby gazed at the stars, the glowing crystals in their hands a reminder of their incredible journey. They drifted off to sleep, dreaming of future adventures in the magical world beneath their feet.